Australia in recent years is a rock group called In Excess, spelled I-N-X-S. Today's music correspondent, Rona Elliott, says despite their youth, members of the band already have been together 11 years. Good morning, Rona. Good morning, Brian. In the last few years, In Excess has broadened out and built an international audience, with this last album selling more than a million copies. Band members Tim Ferriss and Michael Hutchins say they learned the tricks of the trade, performing before the rough and tumble audiences down under, before striking out to conquer the world. I think the, the audience has really formed the bands in Australia, and you know we owe a lot to them because they're the, they're very they're very honest and they're very they just tell you straight away you know what they think and you know whether it's beer cans or whatever and and they really do make you and uh, and I suppose uh, you know the pubs are like two they're not like little English pubs they're like two or three thousand people sometimes with a forty foot bar you know big sign on one side beer only and the other side. Wines and spirits for the ladies. You know? <laughs> it's very butch. You know? It's very Aussie. It's very cliche, I suppose. But all that has really changed a lot. So if you can make it in the pubs, you can make it anywhere. Just okay. about. I think and that goes with any country. If you can make it in the bars in New Jersey, you can probably make it anywhere too. I think people don't really realize what it takes to get an Australian band out of Australia mm. to America financially. It must yeah, a lot be of money. A lot of money. Yeah, it costs. Yeah, you know. I don't know, I mean, it's probably $50,000 before you get a, catch a cab to the hotel, you know, and airfares and stuff. Yeah, a lot of bands, you know, that's why a lot of bands you won't see, because they just don't have the money, you know. I mean, we just went, I uh, went to the bank, <laughs> and somehow got a loan. You actually took a loan from the bank? Yeah, I think so, yeah. So you must have had a lot of confidence. Mm, yeah, oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> well, well if it didn't work, we're just not going to go back. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was looking at some of your old videos. And I noticed some of the earlier ones are so innocent and kind of young, and the recent ones are much more sophisticated. Sure. Not so innocent. Not so innocent. We've all grown up and become, you know, we've sort of grown up apart. You know, we're all different people. We've grown to men, if I dare say. And, um, and at the same time, we've we somehow gained this way of working together. Half of this band is made up of the three Ferris brothers. Now, is that unfair? Is it weighted in your favor? <sighs> if you got... parents. <laughs> yeah. They're doing what? All of them? <laughs> now, what's it like for you, Michael? You're, you know, you're looking over and there's the three Ferris brothers. I mean, yeah. you go, how do I get involved with this family? Um, well, I, it's funny because it's all different now than it was when we first started. I mean, back then, you know, 14, right. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, whatever. It's a big difference. When you are that age, you know, two years, because it's your little brother, you know, it seems like it does make a, a big gap. But then when you, you know, when you say 28 and the guy's 26 or whatever, it's not such a big gap anymore. Mm. Do you know each other differently now after working on stage for years on end than you, than you did before? I think we know each other very well. It's, it's a responsibility to know somebody that well. You can make them feel really good or really bad in 15 seconds. That's the bottom line. I mean, it's like any relationship, marriage, whatever. <laughs> In Excess currently is touring the U.S. in support of its sixth album, Kick, which right now is number four in Billboard magazine's top ten. Brian? Okay, Ron.